What are your thoughts on how we should think about artificial intelligence? So I'm going to give you, so this is my thoughts and, you know, you can decide what to make of it. I don't know if there's a lot of verses on this, but here are my thoughts. Artificial intelligence is not infallible. And so you can actually go online and you can create free accounts and you can test some of these things like chat GPT. I've created an account. I encourage you to create an account. Try it out. Ask it basic doctrinal questions. Will it give you the scripturally correct answer? See, people think, well, AI is like a magic button, and if I, it'll, it'll tell me the right answers. No, it'll tell you what it has been programmed. It, it will tell you the information that it has assimilated. You follow me? There's a difference between the information that it has assimilated and things that are true. Now, now here's what happens. In modern life, we like convenience, don't we? Why do we like fast food? Quick, cheap, I don't have to do it. I can pay someone else to do it for me, right? Very, very convenient. Well, people love AI because it gives very fast answers. Which would you rather do? Would you rather have to research and think and read and read to come up with an answer? Or wouldn't it be easier if I can just type in a question to chat GPT? Well, let's go with that. That's a lot easier. Are you sure it's right? Are you sure it's right? Listen, AI is fantastic as long as it doesn't matter whether the answer is right or not. Now, let me ask you this. How many questions in life are you okay with the wrong answer? Are you okay if you go to the doctor and he gives you the wrong diagnosis? Do you care about that? Are you okay if you go to a lawyer and you ask for advice? He says, well, you want, you want the right answer or you want the quick answer? Well, you want the right answer, don't you? That's my point. AI is, is, is often correct, but in matters of importance, you need it to be more than often correct. It needs to be right. Now, here's the other thing I'll say about this. You can decide. When I have interacted with the AI engines that I have interacted with, they are not neutral. And here's what I mean by that. Ask it questions about politics. Ask it questions about biology. And see if it gives you the answers that are correct. And here's, here's the bottom line. AI reflects the biases of the people that created it. And it reflects the biases of the information that it is supplied with. So it assimilates a lot of information. But its accuracy is only as good as the information that it's been given. Now, I'll say one other thing about that. If you ask me a question, even if I say I know the answer, your ear can discern if I have hesitancy or if I'm wavering. In other words, there are some things we, we know with certainty, and there's other things we know with lesser degrees of confidence, right? Right? And when you interact with people, you can often tell, okay, that, that thing he really thinks he knows, this thing you can tell he's not quite as sure about. What happens when you type a question into an AI engine? Does it, it comes back and it expresses everything with confidence, even when it's wrong. You can try this for yourself. So I have one more point on this. This is my opinion for what it's worth. Man will entrust AI with too much responsibility. I wouldn't mind an artificial intelligence that could mow the lawn. That'd be great. Because if it messes it up, I don't really care. I can fix it. Right? So I don't mind AI mowing the lawn or throwing away garbage or so on. But what's going to happen is man is going to develop confidence in the AI engines that he creates. And then he will give it authority and power that he should not. And then when it fails, the failure will be catastrophic. Now, I hope I'm wrong about that. But 
isn't the, the history of, of humanity one of hubris? Where we have too much pride, we have too much confidence in our inventions, in our creations. That seems to be the, one of the lessons of history to me. And so I suspect that, uh, I suspect that we will entrust AI with too much. Hope I'm wrong on that.